It never ceases to amaze me what utter contempt politicians have for the general public and what they tell us on a day-to-day -day basis. So over the course of years, they can make decisions and then suddenly blame it on other people, justify it in weird and wonderful ways. And they don't realise we are not actually as stupid as we appear to be. How do everyone? Welcome back to the channel for a Wednesday. Hope you're doing all right. I certainly am. Not too bad today. Well, I think these politicians are despicable. The reason I think that is because you look over the past number of years when they make decisions, when they decide to do things, and it goes horribly wrong, and all of a sudden it's somebody else's fault, some policy that somebody else decided in the term before. And equally, where something goes right, they try to take the credit for it, when in fact it wasn't their responsibility at all. It was to do with somebody who held their office before them, and it's an overlapping deal. This just goes on and on and on and on over the course of many years. And in some cases, who suffers for these misfortunes where their decisions go wrong it's the general public have a look at this yes it's a piece in the paper where andrew neil has taken apart joe biden's speech piece by piece you know the one where he justifies why we're all pulling out of Afghanistan and leave, leaving them to it, leading to one of the biggest humanitarian disasters in uh, recent memory. You only have to compare it to something like Saigon in 1975 and you start to see the parallels. In the speech, he's literally tried to take credit for things which aren't his credit to take. He's tried to justify the pullout by saying that it was never a nation building program it was only a peacekeeping mission so all right mr president why have we been there for 20 years why have we tried to build up local security forces and aid and assist them we've all pulled out and the afghan armies crumbled they didn't want a bloodbath and the taliban's flooded through the place in under two weeks it's the biggest foreign policy cock-up since the end of world war ii and the Bay of Pigs and various other things over the years that the Americans have dipped their toe into and got so completely wrong. And Biden is just an example of another politician. You can say what you like about Biden. There are theories, there are facts. He's doing this, he's doing that for whoever. I mean, we've got other videos on this channel where we uh, think the guy really does need some assistance, really. But this is a cock-up and he is the guy in charge and he's trying to deflect it blame trump blame previous matters try and twist the truth you know he wants to be the guy that ended combat operations in afghanistan which he's hoping will look good in elections which he probably won't even make it's all political mumbo jumbo and again who suffers the general public in this case the afghanistani people people fleeing you look at the tragic pictures of people falling from the undercarriage of departing aircraft in sheer desperation at trying to get away and those that who get away where are they going to go who's going to put them up and at what cost is that going to be the consequences of this are going to ripple across the world for some time to come and all we have is a politician trying to justify a bad and a rush decision they're a breed all of their own and i do wonder will they ever change somehow i doubt it let me know what you think and i'll see you later with another one this is the gabby cabby signing off to lou